What's up everybody, Caden coming at you with Excellence in Motion to talk about weightlifting tips and strategies that can help you improve your form and your skills today. The first thing that we're talking about is the relationship of your muscles when you're in front rack position, okay? So when we have a front rack position, whether that be for a front squat or it's for a press or we're doing a jerk, the length tension relationship between our muscles and what that position looks like on the bar is going to determine what we're able to do with the weight depending on the skill. Now, if you look at a traditional front rack position where we're doing the front squat, for instance, what we like to see is an elbow all the way forward. And what this does is it allows us a good contact point for the bar to allow us to sit down into that front squat and maintain good bar position. But what this does is it puts the muscles on maximum length, which decreases the amount of force that we can produce if we were to press the weight up. Now, on the opposite end of that spectrum, if we tuck that elbow all the way down, okay, now we're in a maximally shortened position and the muscle cross links aren't in their most optimal position to be able to create a strong press. So. When we move out of a front rack for a front squat and we're moving into more of a press position, we're thinking in terms of, like think of a clock. Three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock. If we're somewhere within that four to five o'clock range, we've now reached more of that minimum length tension relationship for the muscles, where those cross links are not too close together, but they're also not too far apart that we aren't able to generate force. With them being sort of in this mid-range position, we now have opened ourselves up to a better range in order to generate the maximum amount of force needed to press that bar up and overhead and maintain a good stable position once we reach the top. For more tips and tricks, make sure you follow on Instagram, subscribe and like on YouTube, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hey,